Hey, so today I'm gonna to be telling you about our science curriculum that we've chosen for our next school year. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Peggy. This is my channel at The Starlings. I also have a blog at thestarlings.com. I am a wife for 10 years to my husband, Andy. I'm a mom to four children, ages almost six, four, two, and six months. So I am homeschooling my oldest two daughters this coming school year. My oldest daughter will be in first grade and my second daughter will be in preschool, but doing some kindergarten work because of the interest that she is showing and learning. So I have already done videos about what we're choosing for history and geography, what we're choosing for math, reading, and handwriting, and what we're doing for enrichment studies next year. So I'll link all those videos in the description and put them in the cards above. So today I'm gonna to tell you about what we're gonna do for science next year. So my children are really small, so we don't need a super intensive science curriculum. But what I am gonna do is basically a form of nature study, which is a huge thing with Charlotte Mason style homeschooling. So this year we're gonna do exploring nature with children. I am so excited about this curriculum. It was not expensive, it was $18. Um, I just printed it out myself and just put it in this binder. And this is a year long curriculum from January through December. So it has everything you need for every single week, like all of the plans that you need, and it is awesome. Basically, it's kind of a unit study, um, mini unit studies, like one per week. So we're gonna be starting our school year in July, and that's kind of towards the back of the curriculum. So I'm gonna show you what our first week is gonna look like. So week one in July is right here. And we're gonna be learning all about trees. So we're gonna be reading lots of books about trees. We're gonna be talking about trees as a habitat. I'm gonna be checking out books from the library. There is a recommended book list in here each week. So I'm gonna be looking for those at my library, possibly picking some up on Amazon if I choose to do that. Um, we don't have unlimited funds, so we won't be able to do every single one of these and won't be able to purchase, but we're gonna do as much of it as we possibly can. So we're gonna be starting our homeschool year in July this year. Part of that is because in Florida, it's just so incredibly hot in the summer. There's lots of really nice days, but there's also lots of really sweltering, really hot days beginning in July going into August. So that's when we're gonna go ahead and start our school year so that whenever there's nicer weather in the fall, we can take more breaks during that time. So week one for July, I just wanna show you what it looks like. Here are the plans. So we're gonna be doing a study of trees. So we're gonna learn all about trees. We're going to read lots of books about trees. We're gonna learn about trees as habitats, um, learn how trees work, all of that. We're gonna check out lots of books from the library. There's a book list here, I'll show you. So they'll give lots of ideas of books that we can read. I'll look for these at my library. I may possibly purchase some on Amazon if I decide to do that. I don't have unlimited funds, so I'll have to pick and choose what we decide for that. We have the perfect tree in our front yard that goes through all the seasons, even though we don't really have four exact seasons here in Florida because it's so warm. The tree in our front yard goes through all the seasons. It's a sycamore tree and we get to see the leaves fall in the fall. It's bare in the winter. It starts um, sprouting leaves again in the spring and it's nice and full in the summer. So that's been our perfect nature study tree that we've done this past year. So this coming year, that's what we'll look at for this unit especially. We have that perfect tree. 
So then it also gives you a poem to enjoy for this week about trees. And then it gives you a piece of art that you can look up and enjoy. And then it gives you some extension activities. So those are the main things that you'll do. So if you want to do these extension activities, you can. But every week we'll go on a nature walk and we'll learn about whichever thing we're doing. So for this week when it's about trees, we have a local um, arboretum here in our town. So we'll go to that arboretum, we'll walk around, we'll look at all the different trees, we'll talk about the trees. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that. So this curriculum, once again, was not expensive. It was $18, I'll link it below. Exploring Nature with Children. We're also gonna do a little co-op with some other homeschool moms who are gonna be going through this um, curriculum as well. So I'm really looking forward to doing it with others. We're gonna do some little presentations at our co-op and they're gonna present on something that they learned um, the past month in their nature study. Um, we're gonna have nature journals. So the girls will each have a nature journal They'll journal about whatever we're talking about, like the week that we're doing trees. They'll write about what they're learning or draw a picture or whatever they're able to do developmentally. So I'm really looking forward to doing this science curriculum. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I think this is a good introduction to science because it's things that they're already seeing all around them in nature. So before we get into the older grades with more intense sciences, I think it's good for the girls to kind of understand what science is and how all of that has to do with God's creation. What God has created is what we're seeing around us in nature. And there's ways that God has revealed himself to us in nature. So we're gonna learn about all of that coming up in science this year. I'm so looking forward to this. I think the girls are really gonna enjoy it and have a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot of activities and projects that go along with this that I'm looking forward to doing. So that's what we're doing in science this year. In the comments below, please let me know what you're doing for science. I'm definitely excited about this curriculum, so I wanna know if you're excited about what your family's gonna be doing for science this year. If your kids are older than mine, let me know your favorite things to do for science because as mine get older, I'm gonna be looking for other types of science. So let me know what you're doing, what you're looking forward to. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.